So now the first thing that you want to do to start this process is you want to have all of your folders that you're going to use the batch running process on into a single folder, um, for example, on your desktop. It can be anywhere on your computer, it doesn't matter. Mine are right here in batch tests under Foncho. These are the pictures I'm going to do later using the batch running process. And as you can see, I have all my photos right here ready to go. They're all edited uh, in camera raw. They've all been sized down and optimized for Facebook, but now I'm going to do them for Flickr. So they're a bit smaller file size than the normal 18 megapixels, so they load up faster in Photoshop. And the next thing you have to do is after making sure that all of your photos are into a single folder, is to have a second folder as your output folder. I said the word folder three times in less than 10 seconds in the record. So here is my source folder right here and my source, well, output folder right here. Okay, so now we've got that down. Next thing you want to do is obviously turn on Photoshop. So click start, Photoshop, click it, and there you go. That's step two. Now step three, load up all of your photos into Photoshop. Uh, I'm going to use Bridge since Bridge is very fast and I love using Bridge all the time. Alternatively, you can manually do it, but I obviously suggest using Bridge. Now, like I said earlier, these photos are like 5 megapixels compared to the 18 megapixel file from off of my camera, the Canon T2i, so they're a little bit, a bit faster. So now that you have all your photos loaded up into Photoshop, next thing you have to do is you have to start making an action. Now to do that, you go to Window and select Actions, or you can press Alt F9. Uh, next thing you want to do now is select this button right here which says Create New Action. So Create New Action, I'll name mine Resizer. Okay. And you notice that the little red button will be pressed to begin recording. So this is going to record all of your actions that you're doing, hence the name Actions. So like I said earlier, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to resize these photos down to accommodate the sizes for Flickr and I'm going to save them to another folder so I can upload them really fast. That's what we're going to do. So I'm going to go to image, image size, and Flickr maximum dimensions is 1024, either width or height wise. And now we have that size down. Next, I'm going to go to file, save as, and I'm going to save the picture that I want to have the batch running process on into the folder of the output. So. Basically, all I'm going to do is I'm just going to save the picture into my output folder. So I'll click that and just save. Maximum settings, of course, always. And there you go. So now all you have to do is just, just click this button to stop recording. There you go. Now you have your actions saved. If you look into your actions, uh, you'll notice that what your actions were, you changed down the image size and you saved your uh, picture into a different folder as the output folder. Okay, so now all you have to do to begin the process is very simple. Go to File, Automate, Batch, uh, select your action right here. Source folder, make sure your folder is, well, the source folder set to, well, your source folder. So mine is Poncho. Uh, if you have another folder inside of there, like if you made your output folder in your source folder, that's okay, but make sure if you do do that, don't include the subfolders because it'll just override itself and it'll mess up the process. You don't need to click that right now. Suppress the file, click that so you don't have to get any warnings. Okay. Make sure your output folder is set. Mine is output. Uh, okay, we don't need to worry about that. Document name extensions, I'll keep it the same. And now all you have to do is just press OK. As you can see, the process is working fantastically. So let's check to see if our photos were properly resized. Okay, got to go right here and here. Okay, look at that, 1024 by 683. And they're all saved in a different folder where I specified. So this is how you use the batch running process in Photoshop. And I highly recommend to use this. Uh, you can also use the batch running process for literally almost anything in Photoshop. Like, for example, um, if I wanted to create some, I don't know, distortion, diffuse glow, some rounder like, let's see, let's turn on the graininess, glow apply, like that. I can also do that and set the uh, actions to record that, and I can use them for all the pictures that are uploaded into Photoshop. So, 
It's a very useful process. I use it all the time as an action sports photographer. Once I get done with my pictures and camera raw, I immediately use this process and it saves me lots and lots of time. So I highly recommend using it. So now you guys know how to use the batch ring process in Photoshop. See you later.